Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Ariel. I create mostly makeup reviews and beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today's video is going to include a lot of makeup talk. I just want to sort of go a little bit more into detail and discuss some of the products that I've been using lately. Along the way, if you found any of these products that you actually use and love comment down below and let me know what are those products that you use what are those products that you're loving right now and also what are some of those products that you're looking into trying don't be afraid to hit that like button if you are enjoying the video if you're finding some great tips along the way hit that like button that way YouTube can push my videos out to more people so yeah if you want to see how I got this look and engage in a little makeup talk then keep on watching okay socialites so I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer Serum. I've been really liking this lately. I got it about a week or so ago and have been using it. And I like it. It comes in this dropper form and it just adds a nice hydration to the skin. You can just go ahead and put your foundation on top. But I like to go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer on top before I do my foundation. It just gives it that extra grip to really stick and helps it to last a little longer. This has a little grip to it as well, but not as much as the Power Grip. Just a tiny bit. It adds a hydration to the skin, but it doesn't make it dewy. Like the Tatcha Dewy Mist, it gives you that dewy skin look. With the added hydration, this one doesn't give you the dewy skin look, but you get the added hydration. So I'm going to go on top with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. One pump is definitely enough for an entire face. And with the Power Grip, I like to wait at least about 30 seconds before I go in with foundation. For foundation, I'm using the new KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation. This one's in the color Tan 70, and I find that about one and a half pumps works perfectly for the type of coverage that I want. And you can definitely get full coverage from this foundation. So I'm going to start in the areas that I need the most coverage first. to avoid putting foundation under eye if I do it'll just be like the residue that's left on a brush but I like to avoid that because we're already gonna have like one or two concealers under eye so that just helps us to make sure that we don't get that cakey look underneath the eye for concealer I'm going in with the new Dior concealer this is their forever skin correct in the color 45 neutral I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about this one so I've been trying to use it as much as possible so I'm just trying to figure out what is it that I really like about this foundation I know it's hydrating that's one thing I can say about it is that it's easy to blend and it is hydrating this is also one of those concealers that you can blend right away like the Huda Beauty concealer that I love so much you can blend it right away you don't have to wait for it to sort of get a little tacky that way you don't lose the coverage so it works well with other foundations you know certain concealers I'm not gonna say they're made to wear with their foundation but certain concealers work better with the found with their foundation this one just blends seamlessly with any of your foundations for bronze Bronzer. I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. This one is in the color 310. I find that this cream bronzer is perfect when you almost want that no makeup look. Almost like you have a contour, but you don't have a contour because it's just the natural structure of your face. It's not too heavy. I think that the color that I chose is perfect. It's just, it's a subtle contour. So when you go in with your powders you see that structure of where you placed it but you don't just see like a stark contour where it's like bam contour it's just very subtle like oh she just naturally has a nice shape of the face not that oh she really structured that makeup very well if you get what I mean and I'm starting to really appreciate those sort of 
products because it allows me it allows my face to be the star of the show yes I do have on a lot of makeup products that enhances the look but my face still remains the star of the show if you get what I mean not that I don't like a nice beat face sometimes like a drama beat face because I did do that um the new year's look that i did you guys know that was beat <laughs> click on that link right there to check out that makeup look if you didn't check it out it came out absolutely beautiful but that's like that artistic beat face and so for every day you guys i'm gonna be honest i just like for my face to be the star of the show and i like for the makeup to be able to just compliment my face not my face complimenting the makeup. When I tell you I did not used to be like that, have to be age. To contour my nose, I'm gonna use the Nika K Cream to Powder Foundation. This one is in the color chocolate. I find that this is the absolute perfect color for me to contour my nose. It's not too dark, it's not too light. It's a beautiful, natural contour. And I prefer to use this for the nose rather than the Charlotte Tilbury because I find that the Charlotte Tilbury wears off on my nose for some reason after a few hours it's like my contour is going off my nose but with this one it's subtle but it lasts all day now the charlotte tilbury doesn't wear off anywhere else it looks perfect it looks beautiful but for some reason on the nose just sort of wears off. But I am gonna go in and set my under eye using the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur. The Ultra Blur formula for setting under eye, just find that it just looks so airbrush, just so flawless under eye. But I don't really use it all over the face because I find that the Ultra Blur formula sort of lightens my face if I use it all over. Going in with the Power Puff from Beauty Blender to set under eye. You guys, this has been a game changer in my makeup for setting under eye it just makes it so effortless like you get that effortless look under eye without trying and you don't have to do all that blending that you do when you use a brush easy breezy and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier powder this one is the regular formula and I'm gonna go ahead and set my other highlighted areas with the regular formula At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my brows up using the NYX Brow Glue. And this one's in the color Dark Brown. This takes a while to dry, you guys. And I find that the best way to use this is brush your brows, let it completely dry, and then fill it in. And it takes a little while to dry, so you wanna put this on sorta of early on before you actually get to the point of filling in your brows. I'm gonna put it on, move to another part of our face before we double back <laughs> to the brows so i'm gonna set the rest of my face with the sephora micro smooth powder this one is in the color mahogany so this is new to me i do have a micro smooth powder but i usually use the color ebony and this is a bit darker and i bronze with this it gives me the most subtle beautiful bronzy look i originally purchased it to set all over not realizing it was a shade or two too dark and happen to stumble upon the fact that I could bronze with it and it's beautiful so um, I did get a couple of shades lighter this time which is the shade mahogany and I set all over with this now the first time I used this was on my Valentine's Day look I did yesterday so click on that video and check out that quick Valentine's Day look I did for you guys if you hadn't seen it yet but that was the first time I tried using this particular color of this and I really liked it so you know it doesn't deposit it a lot of color but it sets beautifully I do like to use the MAC mineralized skin finish powder in the color dark but that powder deposits color it has like a medium coverage to it so when I use a full coverage foundation like the KVD beauty that I just used I like to use more of a sheer powder because I don't like a full coverage foundation with a bunch of coverage in a powder too if you get what I mean that's just personally I would rather have something more sheer to go on top of a full coverage foundation now if I'm using a more sheared out foundation then absolutely I would go in with a powder like the new NARS powder or the MAC mineralized skin finish that deposits color because I can afford to because we we don't have as much coverage from the foundation if you get what I mean I'm gonna go in with this big fluffy brush I absolutely love this brush 
to set my entire face you guys I don't remember where I got this from it was so many years ago and I want to say it was like Amazon or something like six seven years ago if I can find this I will link it I'll try to find it but every single thing that I'm using in the video today is linked down below. So check the description box, you guys. So at this point, our brows are pretty much dry and I can go ahead and fill those in. And I'm gonna use the Benefit My Precisely Brow Pencil. This one's in the color number four. If you're wondering why my number four looks lighter than your number four, <laughs> it's because my brows are pre-lightened. Whenever I get my hair done, I didn't do it the last couple times, but this time when I got my hair colored, uh, I got my brows lightened just a little bit like a couple shades lighter so when I use number four it doesn't look as dark as when you use number four I'm gonna take MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC45 to sculpt underneath my brows. This is my favorite product to sculpt underneath the brows. It just gives such a crisp look to the brow. It's full coverage, so if you need to cover any hair, it allows you to do that because it's so full coverage. It is such a thin product that you don't even see it like super thin sometimes I feel like if you use those creamier concealers when you sculpt under the brow you can kind of see that that's a concealer there rather than giving a more natural effortless sculpt under eye <laughs> For eyeshadow, I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm Rising Palette. And I'm going to take the darkest shimmery brown, and this is, will be my only eyeshadow color. Although this is a dark brown and it can be considered smoky, I would say this is the type of smoky eye that you could definitely wear to the office. Going into my Makeup Revolution Cocoa Pebbles palette, I'm going to take that cool tone brown just to smoke underneath the eye a little bit. It gives it a subtle slight smokiness. For mascara, I'm going to use the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. You guys, I am obsessed with this mascara. I'm a person that typically doesn't really care about mascara because my lashes are so small that I can just use anything. I'll just use any type of mascara because I just felt like it wouldn't make a difference and I always wear falsies. But I've been using this for about a month and I was thinking, oh, you know, it's just like any of my other mascaras. They're made be one or two that I think is you know pretty good but this one makes such a difference and let me tell you why whenever I wear mascara I usually go in at a point like this because my lashes are so small I feel like to make to see the individual lashes I have to go in and really separate like this but what was the game changer is when I tried for the first time to use it the way it's supposed to be used and it just really elongates my bottom lashes. Now I haven't used it on the top other than to sort of just fill in with my falsies but it just makes such a difference. It makes my lashes look longer and separate them. I just feel like that's what mas mascara is supposed to do and it's definitely doing that. So I can now say this is my absolute favorite mascara that I've ever tried. <laughs> Now I don't want to add a sort of defined top liner or wing or anything, but because I've used these lashes before and it has a bit of makeup, you know how sometimes they may have little tiny residue of like shadow or something, I'm going to use a dark brown liquid liner. This one is from Sephora Collection and this is basically used to just kind of clean up the top lash line. For blush, I'm gonna use the NARS blush in the color Orgasm X. And it's just a beautiful orangey, corally color with glitter reflex. So pretty, oh my gosh. You know when you buy so many makeup products and uh, half of y'all in the comments know cause y'all, y'all are just like me, don't play. <laughs> 
but it's like we buy so much stuff and we we get into the new you know products and just sometimes it's the products that already exist that we need to explore not that I don't like to check out the newest the latest the greatest obviously I do I want all the new all the latest and greatest but sometimes it's those products that already exist that have been around for years that are just those stunning staple products and a few of you told me about some other NARS blushes that I kind of want to get into but I did used to work for NARS so I'm pretty much familiar with what they have but it was a long time ago and I was only there for like a year I'm more of a Mac girl I was a Mac artist for six years it would be really tough for me to finish a face without using the charlotte tilbury flawless finish powder you guys like this is life <laughs> and i use the color two medium charlotte tilbury also makes this in a large size which is humongous and keep in mind i've been using this to set under my eye every single time i do my makeup for about a year so Save a little bit of money, you guys, and get the small one because it's going to probably be a whole year and a half to two years to use one of these little minis. So if you're using it for under eye and you're not setting your whole entire face, save a coin and get the mini one. I'll have it linked in the description box for you. I'm going to set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Spray. I find that this does an amazing job at melting your makeup into your skin. It just makes your makeup one with your skin and it's just super top tier. For the lip, I'm going to be trying out the Fenty Beauty Split Shine. This one is in the color Tang Thang. It's supposed to be a shiny orangey color. So I'm going to put this on first before I decide which liner to go with because I don't know how this looks on my lips. Feels really buttery, almost like a lip balm. And it smells like vanilla, like a vanilla cupcake. This is definitely one of those products that you could wear without a liner. Okay, so let's see how cork looks. I like it with cork. I was debating if I should use cork or limitless brown for makeup forever, which is a bit deeper, but I think the lighter one is better for this look. With this lip formula, it's hard to apply the liner where the formula is already sitting. So next time I'm going to apply the liner first. With the residue that's left over from our Sephora powder, just going to lightly go over one more time. And that's it for this look, you guys. If you picked up any tips or found any value in this video at all, I would appreciate if you hit that like button. That way YouTube can push my videos out to more people. If you're new here, welcome. I'm happy to have you. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Too scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars Well I don't have the arms